Hey guys, welcome back to Row and Sys Math Club. Today we'll be learning about exponents and scientific notation. So first, what exactly is scientific notation? Well, scientific notation, scientists use scientific notation so that they can rewrite large numbers, such as numbers in the millions, the billions, and the trillions. So they use scientific notation and they also use exponents so that re they can reword these large numbers so it's easier for them to calculate, right? So now let's begin with a very small number, okay? So let's say we have the number 129. So this isn't a very large number, so it isn't in the millions or trillions. This is just simply in the hundreds place. But I just want to give you a key idea of scientific notation, so I'll begin with a smaller number. So 129. The first thing that you have to do, you have to rewrite 129 so that it is a decimal. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that there can only be one digit to the left of the decimal point. So if there can only be one digit, we're going to move the decimal point in 129 and stop when there is only one digit left to the left of the decimal point. So since 129 is a whole number, the decimal point is at the end. So we'll move the decimal point from right to left, okay? So 1, 2. Now notice I'll stop here because there's only one digit left to the left of the decimal point. So 129 converted into a decimal is 1.29, okay? Now, notice this. Every time that we move the decimal point from right to left, we are actually dividing it by 10 because 129 divided by 10 is equal to 12.9, right? So when we moved it once, it became 12.9. And 12.9 times 10 is equal to 129. So what I'm trying to say is that every time we move the decimal point, we're dividing by 10. So when we're writing in scientific notation, the thing is we just want to rewrite the number, right? So 129, we got 129 by moving the decimal point twice from right to left. So if we want to rewrite this, we're going to write 1.29 times because multiplication is the reverse of division times 10 to the power of 2 because we moved the decimal point twice from right to left okay so the scientific notation for 1.29 is i'm sorry 129 is 1.29 times 10 to the power of 2. Now if you want to check this, you could always go ahead and do the multiplication. So we know that 10 to the power of 2, so if you write this over here, 1.29 times 10 to the power of 2. We know that 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So 1.29, okay, one sec. Okay, so 1.29 times 100. And when we're multiplying by a, a multiple of 10, we just count the number of zeros. So there are two zeros in 100 and move the decimal point from left to right that many times. So since there are two zeros, in 129, we'll move it twice from left to right, so 1, 2, and we get 129. Therefore, our answer is correct. So the scientific notation for 129 is 1.29 times 10 to the power of 2. Okay, so now that we have a key idea of what scientific notation is, let's go ahead and use a larger number that actually scientists would use. So let's say that we have a number in the millions place, so let's say we have 438 million. Okay, so it's six zeros, right? So the first thing that we have to do is change this number into a decimal with only one digit to the left of the decimal point. So we'll move the decimal point, And since this is a whole number, it's going to be at the end, right? So we're going to move it from right to left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And we're going to stop right here because there is only one digit left of the decimal point. Okay, so now we're going to rewrite this as 4.38. And we're going to keep the zeros for now. So there are six zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, remember, every time we move the decimal point from right to left, we were dividing by 10. So if we want to rewrite that, we're going to have to multiply this by 10 to the power of however many times we moved it. So remember, we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So we're going to have to write this as 4.38 million times 10 to the power 8. Now, 
Remember, you can always drop these zeros at the end of decimals, so we really don't need all six of these zeros, okay? So we can just simply write this as 4.38 times 10 to the power of 8. So this is how scientists use scientific notation so they can rewrite such big numbers such as 438 million and it just simply becomes 4.38 times 10 to the power of 8. And once again you can check this by actually doing the math. So if you were to rewrite this then 10 to the power of 8 would have 1 and then 8 zeros times 4.38 and you would get 438 million. Okay. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys learned how to use exponents in scientific notation. So anytime you have a big number, you can rewrite it in scientific notation. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.